Hello, it's Super Dan here at Mission Magic. Super Dan! And I have got some super magic to show you. A trick with one, two, three, and four balls. It's the mystery of the rising ball. I'm going to try and make the red ball float magically. Watch this. Keep your eye on the red ball. <gasps> Look at that! It rises up magically. It's like a levitation miracle. It's good, isn't it? It's good. Uh, and uh, what, you think it might be connected? Yeah, the green. Do you think the green's ah, connected? You, some string in between. No, there's nothing in between. See? Nothing. It's not connected. It could be the green one, but I think if you pull the green one, and that happens. Yeah, it's kind of strange. But then if that's the green one, what does the blue one do? I've always wondered. Oh, that does that. So we've got red, blue, ah oh, yeah, the red one does that. That is the pom-pom pole. It's a great prop made famous by the late great Ali Bongo and George Cavari. Loads of things you can do with it. We give you a booklet of ideas and you can even, if you like, you can change the pom-poms to other things. You could put Christmas baubles on, small toys, easy enough to snip these off and put something else on. But it works great as it is. The pom-pom pole. It's a classic of comedy magic. Enjoy. <laughs> watch this because this is probably the most incredible thing you'll ever see in your life. I couldn't figure it out at first. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to concentrate and by the power of my mind I'm going to cause that yellow pom-pom to float into the air quicker than you can say the Lord is good. Here we go. And up. <laughs> Lightning. <laughs> people say how on earth does it work? <laughs> Some people believe that there is string between the uh, yellow and the red. But look. They say, no, 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 no. That's not what we mean. The string runs up through there, across there, joins to the yellow. When I pull the yellow, the red goes up. When I pull the red, the yellow goes up because they're connected. And do you know that's exactly what I thought? Truly, it's exactly what I thought till I saw the blue one. I thought, what's it doing there? <laughs> Finally, curiosity got the better of me and I pulled it. Of course, when I did, the red went up. <laughs> Couldn't understand that because I knew blue was connected to yellow. I finally discovered there is only one long piece of string. Like there's only one real truth. The piece of string was over on this side. I mean, I did have it on there earlier, but that was running between the white one and the red one. Hi, it's Dan here again. I'm back with some gospel ideas for the pom-pom pole. We give you a booklet with routines and ideas. You can use this in churches with the four pom-poms representing the Holy Trinity. And of course, the fourth one represents uh, us and our link to the Trinity. And you could even talk about the four balls being the four different types of love mentioned in the Bible. We give you all the notes for that. And if you want to know what they are in Greek, it's in there too. Everything you need for the pom-pom pole. Enjoy. Enjoy.